We're almost at the base. I hope our fugitive hasn't bailed. Mr. Nobody said he'd be there. Yeah. Speaking of Mr. Nobody, I keep thinking about this story of his. I wouldn't have left my boy at home if this threat wasn't serious. No. I mean the part about the single strike that could cripple America for the next 30 years? Sounds like a dirty nuke. Or a dozen of them. You better believe I'm not having baby Brian grow up in the world like that. I wonder if Tej knew what he was getting into when he agreed to babysit. Knowing Tej, right now he's wishing he'd trade places with you. Hang on. I'm hearing police reports about a convoy busting out a military base. And headed up the coast. That's him. He just landed, and already our fugitive is on the run. Somebody tipped him off. Yep, just like Mr. Nobody said. Eyes and ears everywhere. Yeah, and if he slips away now, we won't be able to track him. Like our guy has some friends running interference. Let's open up the nitrous and take them out. Got more incoming. Looks like this clown's got stupid backup. There's no way around him. Let me go through them. Slam them off the road. Wow, this fugitive didn't come to play. Watch out. These escorts are packing. Let's take them out. need to take out that flamethrower. Yeah, well, you try it, driver blind. I can't see a thing here. Look for the three fuel tanks on the back. I see them. Use the harpoon to pull those tanks off. I'm on it. Yeah. It's got to be a billion degrees in here. Nice. Two more to go. I can't see anything. How much more of this we could take? We just got one more tank. Our tires are done. Nice work, Betty. I'm pretty sure my steering wheel. That's the guy. Great. He's got armor-piercing rounds. I'll draw his fire. I give anything for a gun right now, or even a flamethrower. I've got something better. Starting to think this guy has the entire city of Athens on payroll.
not so fast. I will kill you both. You've been trying to kill us all morning. How'd that work out for you? Tell us about the attack. <laughs> Laugh it up. We're your last chance to come clean before you spend the rest of your life in Supermax. The Tarakul will protect me. Do you understand what he's talking about? My father used to tell me about him. I'm listening. They're called the Tadical. They're legends. <laughs> They're the original highway robbers, but they preyed along ancient trade roads. And this guy is one of them? You will all be dust long before the sun sets on the Tadakul. Yeah, yeah. You and your children will beg for mercy as you perish in the cleansing flames of... Ah! Thanks, babe. It was my turn anyway. This guy was headed for Barcelona. Let me know what you find when you get there. Where will you be? I need to go check on our boy. Hey, Letty. Stay safe out there. You know me. Yeah, I do. That's why I told you to stay safe. They want to play with fire? Then let's turn up the heat. Will you look at that? Look at what? Cam, please. You can't tell me it isn't gorgeous here. Ugh. Ugh. It ain't Miami. <laughs> Come on! I'm just saying, it ain't home. Yet. Okay, we've got time for one more job before we finish for the day. What you got? Looks like there's a breakdown not too far away. The main recovery firms haven't caught it yet. Avenue del Tibidabo. What's the make? Not sure. Just says compact. Okay, we can get there first. It's not too far away. damage the suspension. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I have a repair shop, I'll fix it for free. I'm starving. Where are we eating tonight? At home. We can't keep going to restaurants. <sighs> Come on. Money's tight. You know that. We're not penniless. And we're on our way to a job right now. So maybe we could go to that dim sum place I know you like. <sighs> way too expensive. 
I'll cook. Or maybe you want to step into the kitchen for once. Might do a better job than you. Oh, really? Well, you're still alive, aren't you? Barely. <laughs> okay, we'll eat out. But at that Catalan place we went for my birthday. With the seared tuna? Yes. God, that was amazing. Job first, then tuna. Okay, deal. Damn it. Sorry, Cam. You know we don't work on hybrids. Maybe you don't. And we're back to this again? Do you realize how much work we're losing because you refuse to live in the 21st century? This isn't work. You're talking about replacing batteries and a child's toy. Toy, huh? Do you remember when they did the recall after all those cars in New York went crazy? You know how much money we could have made off that? In other words, profit from a terrorist plot? People still need their cars fixed, V. Let me at least take a look. Cam... It's a powertrain problem. Let's tow it to our place. I'll take a look at it on my own time. We're not equipped to fix these... things. Let me pop the hood and show you the beauty of these... things. Okay. Hitch it up. Yeah? And let's take it over to Sebastian's. He'll give this guy a fair deal. But we better hurry. He closes early on Tuesdays. Hey, we brought you a present. Like we had a choice. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, what's going on? Sorry, Michika. I have a lot on my mind. Thoughts of me? I wish. What is it? Not here. You know how this town loves to gossip. Okay, then. How about we go back to my place for dinner? Cam and I were gonna find some place in the city, but I can throw something together. Aye. <laughs> okay, okay. That sounds good. Let's go. Don't you want to look at the car? Uh, my guys can take care of it. Grab Cam and let's go. Cam's good. I want to stay here and lend a hand. You sure? We good? Yep. I'll grab a ride in a bit with one of the guys. Take a right here. I think we're being followed. Followed? What are you talking about? Here, right again. We can lose it in the side streets. Why would we be being followed? What's going on? Turn, up ahead. Where? Left, here. But we live over to the right. There's a black SUV behind us. It's been circling the garage all day. I don't want it following us back to your place. It's just a black SUV. What is going on? You're making no sense right now. I promise I'll explain everything. But please, for now, just keep driving. Straight over? Yes, it is still behind us.
Watch out, there's more of them. Head to the tunnel. We can maybe lose them in the hills. What are they gonna do, rob us? There's nothing in the back. It's me they're after, I think. And why would you say that? Stop stalling, Seb. I can see two cars. No, no, three. Three still. After the tunnel, take the right. It's a shortcut. Up Plana Pedrosa? You sure it's a shortcut? You've never pointed it out before? I've lived here my entire life. You've lived here only a few seconds. Hey, don't be so touchy. You're the one acting crazy. Try to drive more carefully. All these collisions are just making his paranoia worse. Go right here. Uh, up Carretera del Sansor. No one ever goes up there. It's an eyesore, that's why. Yes, well, I'm not arguing with that. I think we're clear. It's carrying on down the road. Ah, thank you, my love. <laughs> those must be those famous driving skills you told me about, eh? <laughs> if I ever need a getaway driver, you've got the job. You'd better have a good explanation for all this. Is that... is that a Camaro? Yeah, 69. Wow. Where did you find it? Cam and I fished it out of a lake back in Florida. Couldn't bear to leave it behind. So are you finished stalling? Can you please tell me what the hell is going on? <sighs> I need to come up with a lot of money in three days. What? Uh, have you ever heard of the Tadakul? Should I have? They've been around Barcelona a long time. They're sort of like a, a group that helps each other with, with special favors and business deals. In America, we call that organized crime. Oh, shit. You owe the local mob money? Look, when we met, I was completely honest with you about some of my business dealings, some of which might be considered uh, extra legal. You said you were a provider of information. Look, I point things out to people, and if they're useful, I get paid. So, I provided the Tadakul with some information. And that info, through no fault of my own, turned out to be slightly out of date. And now, they want me to pay them for the expenses lost. Exactly how much in expenses? Uh, How much? A hundred thousand. That is insane! Well, the Tadakul disagrees. Damn it, Sebastian! How could you let yourself get involved with people like that? Hey, you're not from around here. They're hard to avoid. They have their fingers in everything. Don't you have any savings? A secret stash of unmarked bills somewhere? Ay, come on, V. You know my garage is barely hanging on. That's why you took pity on me, sending me that car. Do you think I'm a criminal? Whoa. Who's a criminal? Well, you may as well tell them. Tell me what? We need a way of making a lot of money in a hurry. So it is true. You owe the Moroccan mob money. The guys at the garage like to talk. Hey, don't worry. 
I have a solution, but you're not gonna like it. There's a big street race tomorrow night. We are not getting involved with Mauricio. First prize is always some heavily modified ride. If you win, then boom, you've got the money to repay the gangsters. Well, a, a decent part of it. No way. There has to be some other way. Sebastian can handle it. When you're drowning and someone offers you a life preserver, you don't say, there has to be some other way. You can't reason with them? Oh, these are not people that listen to reason. I hate to say it, but they're right. I either race or I turn myself into the police. Which is probably what I should have done in the first place. Well, if you're gonna stand any chance of winning in that import of yours, it's gonna need a tune-up. So how far are you taking these? Like I said, you'd be better off with me doing the work right here. I can handle it. Well, just remember, these things are extremely volatile. Hmm. Well, we'll be extremely careful then. 